The $50 trillion AI gold rush, power, profits, and the future of humanity. A new gold rush. Imagine a gold rush unlike any in history. No pickaxes, no mines, no dusty frontier towns. Instead, the treasure is invisible, made of algorithms, data, and code. It is called artificial intelligence. And economists estimate that this technological revolution could unleash over $50 trillion in value within the next few decades. But like every gold rush before it, from the 1849 California gold rush to the oil booms of the 20th century to the dot-com frenzy of the 1990s, fortunes will be made and fortunes will be lost. Entire industries will rise while others collapse. Nations will compete for dominance and ordinary people will be caught in the middle of forces far greater than themselves. This is the story of the $50 trillion AI gold rush. A story of greed and hope, of innovation and disruption, of power and danger. Chapter 1, Echoes of Past Booms. History teaches us that technological breakthroughs always spark massive economic shifts. In the 19th century, the discovery of gold in California and Australia ignited waves of migration, speculation, and rapid industrial expansion. Fortunes were built overnight, but many more were ruined. In the early 20th century, oil transformed the global economy, creating vast empires like Standard Oil and reshaping geopolitics. Control of energy meant control of nations. In the late 1990s, the internet triggered the dot-com bubble. Billions were poured into startups that promised to change the world. Some collapsed spectacularly, but survivors like Amazon and Google reshaped every aspect of modern life. AI today stands in the same position, but this time the stakes are far higher. Unlike gold or oil, AI is not a resource we dig up or pump from the ground. It is a tool of intelligence, the ability to analyze, predict, and decide. That makes it infinitely more valuable and infinitely more dangerous. Chapter 2, The Scale of the Rush Why do experts call this a $50 trillion opportunity? The figure comes from projections of how AI will expand global GDP, increase productivity, and generate entirely new markets. Consultancy firms like PwC estimate AI could add up to $15 trillion to the global economy by 2030. Extend that over multiple decades and the number soars to $50 trillion and beyond. The areas impacted are vast. Healthcare AI promises earlier diagnoses, personalized treatments, and faster drug discovery. The potential savings and revenues here are measured in trillions. Finance algorithms already move markets, detect fraud, and optimize investments. Entire financial systems are being reshaped. Manufacturing and logistics. From robotics to supply chain optimization, AI could cut costs and boost efficiency on a scale humanity has never seen. Energy. Smart grids, predictive maintenance, and AI-driven renewable technologies could transform how we power the world. Defense autonomous weapons, cyber warfare, surveillance, AI is becoming the backbone of modern security. The gold rush metaphor is not an exaggeration. Investment is pouring in from every corner. Venture capital, sovereign wealth funds, tech giants, and governments themselves. Chapter 3, The New Barons of AI. In the 19th century, tycoons like John D. Rockefeller and Andrew Carnegie became the barons of oil and steel. In the 1990s, Bill Gates, Jeff Bezos, and Sergey Brin became the barons of the Internet. Today, a new elite is emerging, the AI barons. Companies like NVIDIA, Microsoft, Google, Amazon, OpenAI, Baidu, and Tencent are at the center of the race. NVIDIA, once known for gaming graphics cards, has become the shovel maker of this gold rush. Their chips power the training of massive AI models and demand is insatiable. Microsoft's partnership with OpenAI has positioned it at the forefront of generative AI. Google, with its vast data empire, continues to push the boundaries of machine learning. Just as in the old gold rushes, those who sell the shovels, the infrastructure, the chips, the cloud computing power, may end up wealthier than those who pan for the gold. But behind these corporations are national ambitions. The United States, China, and Europe are locked in a technological arms race. Whoever controls AI may control the future. Chapter 4, The Geopolitical Battlefield the AI gold rush is not only about profit, it is about power. The United States leads with innovation hubs in Silicon Valley, Seattle, and Boston, backed by massive venture capital networks. China has declared AI a national priority, pouring state funding into research and deploying AI on a massive scale in surveillance, fintech, and social control. Europe struggles to keep up. 
Focusing on regulation and ethical frameworks but lacking the sheer investment muscle of the U.S. and China, BRICS nations, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, are positioning themselves to use AI as a leapfrog technology, bypassing traditional stages of industrialization. This battle is not theoretical. It is already shaping alliances, trade wars, and security strategies. Just as control of oil determined power in the 20th century, control of AI may determine power in the 21st. Chapter 5, The Economic Disruption. Whenever wealth is created on this scale, it also destroys. AI promises to boost productivity, but productivity gains often come at the cost of jobs. McKinsey estimates that up to 800 million jobs could be displaced by automation by 2030. Entire industries, from trucking to call centers to routine office work, may vanish. The benefits will not be evenly distributed. Those who control AI infrastructure, data, and algorithms will capture most of the profits. Ordinary workers may see wages stagnate or decline. Inequality could widen dramatically. At the same time, AI introduces new risks. Financial instability AI-driven trading systems could trigger flash crashes or systemic failures, bubbles, and speculation. Just as the dot-com boom ended in a crash, AI hype could inflate valuations to unsustainable levels. Surveillance capitalism AI tools in advertising and social media already manipulate behavior on a mass scale. The gold rush will mint billionaires, but it will also create casualties. Chapter 6, The Ethical Minefield. The rush for profit raises profound questions about the kind of world we are building. Should AI be allowed to replace human workers without safety nets? Should autonomous weapons be deployed on battlefields? Who is accountable when an AI makes a decision that harms someone? Do we want corporations to own the algorithms that shape our choices, our news, our elections? Every previous gold rush created not only wealth, but also corruption, exploitation, and injustice. AI may be no different, unless humanity steps carefully. Chapter 7, Winners and Losers. So who wins and who loses in this $50 trillion scramble? Winners, tech giants with the resources to dominate AI research. Nations that secure AI leadership. Early investors in infrastructure like chips, cloud services, and data platforms. Losers, workers in routine jobs vulnerable to automation. Small businesses unable to compete with AI-powered giants. Citizens whose privacy is eroded by mass data collection. But history shows that even losers of old gold rushes sometimes found new opportunities. Many who failed in California later prospered in railroads, banking, and real estate. The key is adaptation. Chapter 8. Lessons from History The California gold rush ended quickly. By the mid-1850s, most easy gold was gone, and the frenzy collapsed. But the infrastructure built, railroads, ports, towns, fueled the long-term growth of California. The oil boom created monopolies but also powered the Industrial Revolution and modern transportation. The dot-com crash destroyed billions in paper wealth, but left behind the backbone of the Internet that powers the global economy today. AI will likely follow the same pattern. There will be bubbles and crashes, excesses and failures, but the underlying transformation will be real and lasting. Chapter 9. The Human Future the real question is not how much money AI will make, but what kind of world it will create. Will AI free humans from drudgery, giving us more time for creativity, relationships, and discovery? Or will it concentrate power in the hands of a few, creating a world of mass unemployment and digital authoritarianism? Will it expand democracy and opportunity, or erode them through manipulation and surveillance? The answer depends not on the technology itself, but on the choices we make. Just as societies decided how to regulate oil, railroads, and finance, so too we must decide how to govern AI. Chapter 10, Conclusion, The Gold in the Shadow. We stand at the edge of the greatest economic transformation in history, a rush measured not in nuggets of gold or barrels of oil, but in lines of code and flows of data. The $50 trillion AI gold rush will reshape economies, industries, nations, and lives. It will create new empires and new inequalities. It will bring breakthroughs in health, energy, and knowledge, and dangers of surveillance, control, and war. The old gold rushes promised fortune but brought hardship to many. This one offers not only fortune but the power to redefine humanity itself. In the end, the question is not just who will strike it rich, but who we will become. Because the greatest treasure of all may not be the wealth AI creates, but whether we can harness it wisely. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. Share it with friends and family and subscribe for more deep dives into the hidden risks shaping our financial future. This is Felix. See you next time.